All right, YouTube, I'm going to be replying to your comments today. But first, let, let me reply to somebody out there. You know, we're talking about Sergey Darby and Checo, okay? And, you know, the, I guess the problem I have with him, you know, I said that, you know, he, he's gotten way too many shot, shots at the title. The IBF didn't deserve it. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that, and then and we'll get on to your comments. First of all, we finally hit 10,000 subs. Thank you very much. I've worked very hard for that, so I do appreciate it. So, look, check this out. Okay, who did Sergey Darby and Checo fight to get into the Daniel Jacobs fight? Like, what did he do to deserve a shot at the IBF? And I believe it was the second or third shot, but I got to look. I mean, at least two, maybe three. Okay, he beat a guy with 22 losses. Okay, we're talking about Johnson. Okay, so... Darby and Checo beats Johnson. He was 22 and tw- he was 22 wins, 22 losses, and three draws. Okay, now he's 23 and three. That is l- basically 26 losses. Okay, he has more losses than wins. I mean, how- and that's who he beat in order to get into the Daniel Jacobs fight. Okay, and that is the issue I have. You know, people just—I don't—I don't get it. They just keep talking about how great Darby and Checo is, right? And you know how he how he's you know deserved all the the shots the IBF this that and the other. It's cr- it's crazy to me, right? I mean, look at the resume. I mean, if you look at who he beat, okay, let's look at his uh his his fight before Gennady Golovkin, Jack. Okay, I mean, look, that was a it was a unanimous decision. Yes, he beat him, but. It wasn't impressive. It was boring. I think it was like one, what was it, 116? I forget what it was. Very close. Very close. Okay. Uh, and I think the judges, they scored it a lot wider than I think they should have. But it, but he beat them. We'll give them that. But who the hell is Jack Whit? He, like I said, he had two or three losses going into that fight. You know, the, like I said, the guy before, Jacobs had 20, what, 21 losses? Or no, 22, I'm sorry, 22 losses. I mean, that's crazy. So to, to get to Gennady Golovkin, okay, we're talking about Sergey Darby and Checo. I mean, uh, he had, what, I think like 11 fights back then? 11 fights, two losses, something like that? Or no, I'm sorry, he was undefeated. I apologize, I'm going off memory. But he had about 11 fights. But if you look at the 11 fights, it was against guys. These were completely unknown guys. Like I said, one guy had 22 losses, one guy had three, one guy had 13 losses, another guy had seven losses, I mean, you're getting in the 30s and 40, you know, total amount of losses in order to get a crack at the IBF. I don't understand it. You know, I get it. You become, you know, you, you become, you get in the rankings and you're now the mandatory. I mean, I understand how it works. But, and you also have to remember when Jacobs fought Darby and Checo, they were old, you know, sparring partners and things like that. They trained together. So I think there was like some, some type of favoritism there. And Jacobs knew he could beat him, you know. So look, guys, I'm just saying, I'm not a Darby and Checo fan, Okay. And as far as the Gennady Golovkin fight goes, you know, originally I did say, I, I, you know, I, I, I said I felt like Golovkin lost, but not in the normal sense of a loss. I, in my mind, he didn't he didn't do good enough in my mind. Right. So technically, yes, he won. But, you know, I don't know. I, I was disappointed, you know, kind of like a Mayweather Pacquiao or Canelo Golovkin too, the rematch. You know, I, I guess, you know, when I, whenever I get, I get on YouTube and I start ranting and raving, I need to break it down a little better. Yes, I believe Golovkin won. I actually went back and watched the fight again. You know, I haven't watched it since the original fight, uh, you know, back in, uh, what was that, uh, October. Was it October? Was that October? Yeah, October, I believe. 2019. Okay? So that, that's how I feel about Sergey Darby and Checo. He's been given at least two shots at the IBF. Okay, and what did he do to deserve those shots? Nothing, absolutely nothing. You know, and I call him a B-level fighter because he is a B-level fighter. And again, that's why I was disappointed in Gennady Golovkin. You know, but I, I get it. You know, new trainer, a lot going on. We know what is going on with Triple G. So look, Triple G needs to bounce back. But all these people that are praising Sergey Darby and Checo, you know, calling him like this elite A-level boxer, you're out of your mind. Like, what has he done to get that title? What has he done to get those credentials? I mean, look at the dude's resume. Okay? He's currently 13-2-0. Because, you know, of course, he got beat by Golovkin and Daniel Jacobs. Because anytime you know, he steps up the competition, he loses. And what did he do to get, get, to get a shot at the IBF? Nothing. It was a gift. And he got two. 
two, maybe three. I want to say two. But anyway, enough of that. So I, I just kind of wanted to, re to reply to that quickly. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to read a few comments for you guys here um, and see what you, uh, what you guys think out there. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, loud, loud boy. You ain't say shit. Did it in both fights. Caught again, again. She what are you talking about? What are you talking? Look, I can't reply to that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a, well, he's talking about Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, but but apparently I ain't say shit. Okay, all right. Appreciate the comment, buddy. You're drinking that Fox News Kool Aid, brah. Our president is out there calling it a hoax. Six weeks while China quarantined themselves. I look. I, I don't care what Trump did or didn't do. The virus came from China. That's all I'm trying to say. If we're, we're going to talk facts. Let's talk facts. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. And look, you guys know, I already told you. Okay, they knew about this back in November, December. Okay, Dr. Lee reported it on the 30th. He was silenced. He was basically, you know, uh, banned from, from talking to the media. They made the American media leave. They, they got, uh, got rid of their credentials. They tried to cover it up. And then it, became, it got to a point where they could no longer cover it up. You know, uh, there was eight other people, including a college professor, that they basically arrested. I mean, they tried their hardest to, to, to cover it up and silence, you know, the, the, the whistleblower. So it's, it's a fact, bro. It has nothing to do with Fox News. I mean, I don't like Fox News. I don't like Trump, really. But look, I'm not here to talk about politics. But if you're going to bring it up, I, you know, I'm going to talk about it. it. has nothing to do with Fox News. I, I'm speaking the facts. And I don't get my information from Fox News. I get my information from a lot of credible, credible, credible people. And Fox is not one of them. Okay? Right here. Don't give this up. You're, you're real and honest. 80, 80, 80%? You mean 99.9% of the time, but thank you. I agree with you. Keep it up. Thank you, Ray. I do appreciate that. John Comet, Counterpunch Boxing. Lopez can wait. He doesn't need to get knocked out that soon. <laughs> That's probably true, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. This was my main number one fight I wanted to see this year uh, more than the Trilly. I, I wanted Lomachenko to absolutely destroy this guy. I can't stomach him or his cokehead father. I agree. I mean, Tio Lopez, look, I, you know, you got you to gotta be, uh, you have to be confident in boxing. But when you get to the point to where, to where you're arrogant and cocky, you know, and just flat out, you know, disrespectful to your opponent, like, like we know he has been, I don't like that crap, you know, so I agree, I agree, but as far as, like, Loma knocking him out, I don't know, I really don't know, I mean, he, he boxes his head off for sure, I mean, I'd see a unanimous decision, but he does have power, I mean, Loma was knocked down by, by, uh, Linares, so, you know, we'll see, I mean, look, Loma, look, he, he is the definition of what a boxer should do, he truly, challenges himself you know it's it's kind of like mikey garcia in a way you know mikey garcia and loma which would be a great fight you know by the way so but yes i i, I do agree i would like to see you know uh, uh lopez humbled humble he needs to be humbled the boss i appreciate how productive you have become well thank you the boss Pr appreciate the comment john fam is it uh pham fam fam Okay, the virus will still be lingering around in May across the U.S. They won't allow sporting events. If people will be flying, you're right. Yeah, I mean, all this like self-quarantining, I don't quite understand it because eventually we, we all have to get back out in the world. Okay, Jay, per Jay is it per Perez? Okay, shout out, Jay. Okay, damn, is the fight I'm, damn, it is the fight I am waiting for. This year is going to be empty until the second half, but the second half might be, you're right, there's going to be a lot of catching up to do, and I thought about that. You know, look, it, look, we can try to put a positive spin on it because, yes, right now things kind of look bleak, dark, but, I mean, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and that light is going to be that I think we're going to get a lot of fights that are kind of pushed through and rushed through because, you know, these guys have a lot of making up to do. People are losing money. You know, it's not only the fighters, the promoters, but you got, you, you know, you have the staff at the arenas, delivery drivers, people there cooking, serving, I mean, a ton of people, media. Yes, I mean, so the economy needs to bounce back. So I think they're going to just basically have a production line of fight. So, you know, we might get like the, the second half of 2020, it might be great, you know, but we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. Okay. It sucks. How, how are we going to freak out and cancel events more than two months down the road? Well, I mean, they kind of have to, you know, I do agree. It does suck. You're right. I'm incredibly disappointed, but I think they did the right thing. You know, I mean, you got to think, you know, Loma had to fly back to uh, Ukraine and things like that. So, 
you know, um, and they're talking about closing down airports, you know, shutting down the border, you know, so I mean, I, I get it. I mean, they did the right thing. Okay, he says, damn it, I missed the live. Yes, you guys, look, hit the notification bell. Okay, sub to the channel, hit, hit the notification bell because I'm going to be going live probably once every week, I would imagine. So, um, you know, I'm getting things set up. I, I went live the other night, but, you know, I, I'm kind of working out the kinks, you know what I mean? Working out the bugs. So, uh, all right. And I said, I mean 2020. What I meant by that, in one of my videos, I said 2021. So I made a mistake. All right. Uh, is this uh, Javier? Okay, shout out. Uh, El Paso, Texas on lockdown, but just following Trump and whose guidelines to get this virus out of our lives. Uh, <laughs> Canelo, 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 Esterol, cheating ass, wimp, you never saw a Chavez, Pac-Man, Marcus, cheating, only Mayweather. You are correct. I like your channel and your videos, man. You're straight up very honest, fun to watch from El Paso. Shout out El Paso, a real gangster from Texas prisons. All right. Well, hopefully you're doing the right thing now. Stay, look, stay out of trouble. All right. Really. And thank you for the comment. You know, if you ever get bored, check out the channel. All right, dude, you have cabin fever. LOL, shout out, Eric. Yes, I absolutely do. And don't know if the shout out was for me. Yes, I believe it was. If it wasn't, then it is now. Okay, and and thank you for, um, you know, all the comments and everything you do. Trust me, I read all your comments and, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of your comments. Okay, you're a fan of the channel. I'm a fan of your comments. So thank you. You know, I'm a fan, you're, so we got this fan, I'm a fan of a fan of a fan, however you want to say it. Okay, couldn't be on with you live, busy working the night shifts. All right, well, well, look, keep doing your thing, brother, and thank you. All right, Isaac Valdez, shout out, my friend, again, you're always in a comment, so thank you very much. Okay, Gennady Golovkin won, twi won twice. Okay, you can't beat Canelo on the cards, and I don't know if this fight will be fixed because Gennady Golovkin is on the way out. Uh, and they want to build Canelo up more. I mean, yes, it's almost kind of like, let's see, it's passing the torch. You know, I guess you could say Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury. You know, I mean, there's been a ton of them, right? The, the passing of the torch. You know, so it, it, it could be. It absolutely could be. But, you know, I never count Golovkin out. He's an incredibly gifted, talented, powerful, you know, boxer but the thing is he needs to get back to that Abel San Sanchez blueprint in order to get you know to, to start getting victories now I mean I didn't even like the way he knocked out rolls you know it was that weird I don't know off balance left weird unorthodox not to say unorthodox but unconventional punch that, that he landed you know so yeah we need to see Golovkin he needs to, to really get back into it okay man you know you're boxing I agree 100% if you watch every second of every round he won both. What video are you talking about, sir? I don't know. Has it been deleted? Oh, I guess you're talking about the live thing. Thank you. And the thing is, whenever I went live, I don't like to sit there and just like talk about boxing knowledge. You know, I, I hate being a know-it-all. So the, when I went live, it was more of a friendly conversation. But uh, the next time I go live, I, we'll break down some boxing. You know, you guys ask me any question of any error of anything, I will answer you live. That is the thing. You know, a lot of people out there question my boxing knowledge. Well, when I go live, hit me with a question and I guarantee you I can most likely answer 9 out of 10 accurately. So there you go. Thank you for the comment. The boss. Okay, I don't know who was that. That was Ray. Uh, shout out Ray the boss. Okay, the virus has counterpunch cornered. <laughs> He's talking about right here. When I went live, yes, I was in my corner, like hiding like a dog in the damn corner. All right, what's up, boss? Okay, Shell Adams, a shout out. His gloves was floppy in the second fight as well. Search before you uh, release misinformation. Well, I've already searched. And yes, you can find a few perfectly timed screenshots. And that's all you can find. Okay? And all this clickbait crap. I mean, that's all I found. If you have any other evidence, post it below. I'll be more than happy to talk about it or make a video. But thank you for the comment. Okay. Uh, wow, I'm terrible at names. Dean, Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. Okay, Mackie, shout out. If Darby and Checo is a B-level fighter, why has none of the A-level fighters fought him? Hmm, let me think about that. Why has none of the A-level... Because he is a B-level fighter. And every time he fights an A-level fighter, he loses. The only time he looks good is against a B-level fighter with 22 losses. Okay, we already went over it. But thank you for the comment. All right, uh, Landy. Shout out, Landy. Imagine Gennady Golovkin going for that Canelo body. Imagine the ref warning Canelo not to 
turn into the body shots instead of warning Gennady Golovkin not to hit him back. I think Gennady Golovkin can make it official and beat Canelo in the trilogy. Yeah, he, he can. Look, he can. I mean, I had it like a 70-30 Gennady Golovkin. Now it's more like ah, maybe 40. I give Golovkin a 40% chance, but he's got to turn it on. He's got to turn it on, guys. You know what I mean? He can't come in there and try to win on the card. We know he Canelo is the Vegas cash cow. He is the establishment fighter. There is no way you're going to get a decision over Canelo. It's not ever going to happen. You know, just like we know Chavez. Remember, I mean, I'm talking about senior. Remember, uh, who did he fight? Uh, oh, God, who was that? Where the referee stopped it at the end, 12th round. Complete just corruption. You know, this, they, look, the, the fighters have been protected going all the way back to Jack Johnson, okay? The first African-American heavyweight, which, by the way, he's from Galveston, where I'm from. Okay, so, all right, shout out. Willie, or I'm sorry, Wilson, shout out. You can't say about retirement, we should be more respectful with the hard work they have done. Okay, support, don't attack. He's talking about whenever I said I am currently off the Gennady Golovkin bandwagon. As I, I will not support what he's currently doing. Okay, well, yes, I can. I can talk about it. You know why? Because I've been, you know, the, the Golovkin's number one cheerleader for nearly half a decade. Okay, I mean, I've brought so many new fans to Gennady Golovkin. The channel has four million views, and a lot of those views are pro Golovkin videos where I have fiercely defended and protected Gennady Golovkin. I've done more for Golovkin than probably most YouTube channels out there. So yes, I think I, I you know, I think my opinion does matter, you know, and, uh, and I, and I know for a fact, even Tom Loeffler has watched my channel. Okay. So, and I know this because I've talked to him and he knew exactly who I was. So yes, I, I do have a right to give an opinion on Golovkin, but thank you for the comment. Okay. Jay, <clears throat> All right, his power is still there, but he is slower, which makes him miss more and makes him more open to counters. The results in him not being quite as offensive-minded, it's all connected. Well, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, his power is still there, but you could say if he's slower, then how can you deliver the same amount of power? If, if Because, I mean, you, a lot of your power, yes, is from kinetic energy. You know, the hip to the shoulder, to the elbow, to the wrist, to the boom, to the glove. You twist, you turn. If you guys ever box, you know, you throw a hook. You, you kind of turn your boom, you know, like twist your body, turn it into it. But, you know, speed is a lot has a lot to do with power. So if he is getting slower, then the power will diminish. I mean, that's just like scientific. There's no way that you can throw a punch slower and really have the same power. I mean, maybe we can talk about martial arts. Maybe you can, maybe you can, but whatever. With, with Golovkin, I mean, yeah, I think the power has diminished, but I don't think it's because it's truly diminished. I think because it's, it's he, he isn't as prepared, right? I mean, I think they're training to be a boxer. It's like, look, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jonathan Banks is trying to turn Gennady Golovkin into a boxer when he is a puncher, right? He is a pressure fighter. You know, I told you guys, seek and destroy. Like that, he that's what he he need, he needs to get back to that vintage Gennady Golovkin. And I understand he's getting older. He can't keep up that pace. I get it. But look, you can drop a bomb in there, you know, at least every two rounds. I mean, a little quick one-two combination, a little three-piece, and then and hit him with a bomb. I mean, even even my old ass can do that, right? And I'm I'm like Gennady Golovkin's age, and I'm I'm not even training anymore, and I can still spar to this day, and and, and you know fire off a combination with a power shot, you know. So I mean, if I can do it, why can't Golovkin do it? That's what he needs to do. So, either way, thank you. Okay, Wilson again. I can't go out to mass. Uh, can't go to meetings to buy, just stay home. Well, hang in there, brother. You'll be all right. I know we're all going through a hard time right now, so but thank you for the comment. Okay, think cap. Gennady Golovkin has a decent chance against Canelo in the third fight. He would need a knockout, though, yes. I mean, we just, we talked about it earlier, yes. I mean, he would either need a knockout or a knockdown, okay? I think if he got, like, a 10-8 round, then it's, it's a possibility, it's a possibility that he might get the nod, you know, maybe. I mean, I got to think about that for a minute because even when I say it out loud, I'm like, nah, bro, you're fooling yourself. But it's possible, right? It's possible. I mean, he got a draw, you know? I mean, he beat him but got a draw. But imagine the original fight, if he had a knockdown on top of that performance, he would have got the nod, I believe, right? Agree or disagree? Put it below. Okay, Rashid Khan. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, no, he didn't. Took a right from Gil. Yes, I know. I made a video. 
uh, reacting to Gennady Golovkin's knockouts. I, I made it. I said I think uh, Daniel Gill, I believe, got dropped from a body shot, but I was thinking of Lemieux. I corrected myself in the video, but thank you for stating the obvious. <laughs> but either way, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, Rashid Khan again. Yes, but Canelo do have a good head movement. Uh, head dodges most of his power shots. Gennady Golovkin just has to be You're right. Yeah, If Golovkin can go out there and be Golovkin, forget about the judges, forget about the, the you know, 12, for, forget about, block it all out, tune it all out, just attack. You know, like I told you, if Golovkin can give us maybe two or three rounds, that's it, in, in, a, in a 12 round fight, it can make a big deal. I'm talking about 100% Gennady Golovkin. It can make a huge difference. I mean, he can even take a round off, you know? Maybe round one, have a feel-out round. Okay, round two, pick it up a little bit. Round three, attack, 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 pressure, 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 and then take round four off. Maybe a tougher round five. Okay, at the midway point, give us another 100% round. That's what I would be training Golovkin for right now. Even in, in intervals, every other round, or every, every third round, I want 100%. That way you don't gas out, you don't build up that acid in your muscles, you know, you don't get weak, you don't get tired, things like that. So, all right, but thank you for the comment of the boss. Counterpunch Boxing, I'm going to watch it again, I'll be back. Um, yes, he's talking about how I've made corrections. You know what's weird is uh, the video is not showing up over here on the right. I wonder if they deleted my videos. I don't know, we'll have to check. Uh, let's see. What video was that? Hang on, guys. Let me go back and have a look real quick. I know you guys don't want to see me do this, but now I'm curious. Now I have to because, uh, I wonder if they've deleted some of my videos. I don't know. We're, we're about to find out, people. We're about to find out. Video manager. Okay, right there. Let's see. Um, did they delete my... Because usually when there's a comment... And there's nothing next. There's not. There's not a thumbnail picture. It means YouTube deleted my video. But I think they're all here. I think. I don't know. I make so many damn videos. I think they're all there. But anyway, we'll get back to the uh, the community. Hit community right there. And by the way, in my panel, if I hit community, it shows me all the comments. Okay, I can read all of them. Okay, let me get back to where that was blank. Uh, guys, I forgot where I left off. Anyway, we'll start, I don't know, we'll start, uh, let's see, championship boxing. Okay, I can see Gennady Golovkin knocking out Canelo and basically shocking the world. Yes, I, I can too because he has the power. And here's the thing, you know, I mean, a lot of fighters, they, they perform best, you know, when they're under a lot of pressure. And Golovkin knows in the trilogy, you're not getting another shot, buddy. There's not going to be, it's not going to be like a Pacquiao Marquez situation. You're not going to get 29 fights, <laughs> right? You know, like this is your final shot. You got 12 rounds. You better make the best of it. And here's the thing. If Golovkin, all he's talking about is Canelo, 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 Canelo. If he gets, goes out there and gives us a, a half-ass performance, I'm going to be incredibly, incredibly disappointed. Okay, so Golovkin needs to just let it all go. It is the most important fight of his legacy. Yes, I said legacy. His career. The Canelo Trilogy. Okay, I like that you said 41 and 0. Facts. Okay, yes. You caught that. And I wrote, ah, you caught that. What I was saying was, I didn't give... Uh, I took off the the draw, rather. Was it the draw? Yeah, I took off the draw for Canelo because I don't I don't agree with it. So I said Golubkin is a 41 or no. Or or you know the the loss, however whichever way you want to look at it. So anyway. All right, uh Elton 42 and 0. Yes, I know. I intentionally said that because I'm not giving Canelo that win. That's why I said, you know, uh intentionally said Where'd it go? 40, 41 and 0, right there. Okay, uh, East Harlem. Okay, Gennady Golovkin fought Darby and Chekhov in the last fight. If Gennady Gol it, it's Gennady Golovkin's fault. Ginger is waiting for him to get older. Oh, well, you're right. You know, look, there's a reason Canelo said, oh, I'm not fighting him. I beat him twice. There's no, and now he is fighting. Well, why? Why? If you can do it now, why didn't you do it then? And not only that, you know for a fact Canelo is happy as hell right now knowing that because of the global pandemic that, you know, the fight might get delayed, canceled, or, or pushed out so far that nobody wants to see it. I mean, could you imagine Triple G Canelo 2021? Nobody wants to see that. I mean, we barely, look, they're just squeaking this out at the, I mean, at the 11th hour. 
okay, the clock is about to hit 12 and they are, we're, you know, time is running out. If they don't make it happen in, you know, September and I, look, guys, by the way, I could see the trilogy getting pushed up to maybe even December because Canelo said he wanted three fights in 2020, but he's not getting three. He's getting two, you know, so, uh, you know, he's got Billy Joe Saunders if, you know, things turn out okay with the virus. Okay, now let's say he gets past, oh God, I choked, past Billy Joe Saunders then, which again, I think you guys are sleeping on Billy Joe Saunders out there. He might upset the whole apple cart, right? I mean, look at, look at Andy Ruiz and, uh, and uh, Anthony Joshua, it can happen. So anyway, all right, Ryder Man, and uh, Ryder Man, thank you for all your comments uh, and and your contribution to the channel. Okay, a smart move for Gennady Golovkin will be to hire Abel Sanchez. I can't read the whole thing because it's very long, but yes, okay. If Gennady Golovkin shows ninety to ninety five percent of what he was, I fear for his manager. Well, yeah, I mean, even less than ninety nine. He, he, like I said, if he can just do that every third round. Third or fourth round. Like I said, give me two, give me three rounds in a 12-round fight. And it will make the difference, I think, where he could possibly get the nod. Especially, I mean, oh, God, dude, if he had a knockdown, game over. Or if he, let's say he hurt Canelo. Canelo, imagine, wobble. He's wobbling back to his corner. And um, fans are going crazy. Everybody's home like, oh, shit. You know, yes, yes, that's all we need. We need a moment. We need a moment, a highlight moment. And it will make a huge difference. So, yes. Uh, but shout out. Hang on, guys. <laughs> I gotta blow my damn nose. Oh, sorry, guys. I have terrible allergies right now. I don't have the corona, I promise. Okay, uh, Gennady Golovkin gets schooled. Maybe. You know, I'm not gonna argue with you. Here's the, 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 the thing is, my message to all the Canelo fans, you might be right. You might be right. It might be a bad, bad night for Gennady Golovkin. I don't know. I want to see the training camp. I want to see the demeanor. You know, I want to know by the, the people I talk to on the inside, what, what is he looking like? What are, what are they working on? You know, I don't know right now. We don't know. You know, um, Grady, shout out Grady. Uh, and again, thank you for all your, your, con- your contribution to the channel. Okay, good vid, counterpunch. I think Banks is all wrong for Gennady Golovkin. Abel had him trained like a killer. He did. He absolutely did, and we need to get back to that. Okay, Dune Goon, <laughs> what is that? Okay, counterpoint, bra, great video re- um, releasing Sanchez, and Father Time will end his boxing career in the next two fights. You, 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 look, you guys might be right. I mean, you know, I, I always I try to keep it real on the channel, and you might be right, you know? So, uh, John comment, the fight will never play take place reason canelo will pull out guarantee something will happen in an injury uh he'll pull out uh, three days ago well maybe could be an injury another cosmetic air quote cosmetic knee surgery like like golden boy tried to say could be could be or it could be the coronavirus you know so yes i mean i i do see canelo using that to avoid gennady golovkin okay what let's see what did he do in the first two fights elma Again, I don't know what video you see. Like I said, you see over here, guys, how it's blank. It'll tell me what video you guys are talking about, but for whatever reason, it's blank right here, and I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, I try to click on it, but I mean, maybe it's because it's a reply from Eric. Okay, shout out Eric. Okay, oh, did I did I skip you? Okay, okay, filling the video, cocky, huh? <laughs> With those new developments, edit, editing skills. Yes, you guys, look, I'm working on doing a little bit of editing. I know what's amateur hour, I get it, but I'm learning. And I'm limited limited to what I can do because right now, my tablet and computer, I let my family borrow them through the crisis here. So I don't even, I'm using like another tablet and a phone. So when I get my equipment back, you guys will see some very, very good videos. So, and I wrote, I said, yes, I'm learning, but I'm, but I'm a fast learner. I will have videos better than the top boxing YouTube channels before long. And I will, Uh, because look, this editing, editing thing, it's not hard. Once you figure out how to do it, seriously, guys, you can do it too. It is not hard. You know, these videos that you guys see all over YouTube that look incredible, like these movie product, they're, they're simple as hell. It's all drag and drop, click here, click there, you know, a little transition here, a little music there. It's, it's very simple, but the thing is, it's about taking the time and the effort, and yes, you also need a little creativity, you know, you know so... Uh, but thank you for the comment. Okay, and that's uh, 357. Gennady Golovkin loses again, maybe. Wilson, Gennady Golovkin won both, yes. Uh, 713, okay, I'm not crazy about Golovkin Ginger 3. 
<laughs> okay, I think Ginger is going to KO Golovkin. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to run through. I'm going to burn through them real quick. Okay, uh, Slip Kid 1980 shout out. I hate to say it, but I think the money ruined him. I think it did too. I think Gennady Golovkin got that money, fired the team, which, again, I'm very disappointed in. Look, bro, when you got $100 million, and you have to think Gennady Golovkin was worth $42 million before the $100 million, meaning this dude had about $142 million, and that's not counting all the money he's going to get even when he's retired. Okay, he's going to make money on his promotional company, on his stable of fighters, his merchandise, uh, his business partners, and whatever he's got. This dude is making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Well over, I mean, like, this guy's, look, he's got that Mayweather money, I'm telling you, or cl close to it. I mean, that's kind of a dumb statement. He's got a lot of money, okay, over $100 million. You know, so for Golovkin to not break a little piece off for the people that helped get him there, to me, it's it's very, very ah, just disappointing. You know, look, if I imagine you won the lottery, right? Because it's like winning the damn lottery. Because look, guys, these are boxers after all. Okay? And I'm not, you know, I get it. They're risking their life, you know, for that. But they also signed up for it. They know what they were doing. Okay? Just like me. It, you know, if I'm going to be a professional boxer, you know, I, I know I know the risk that comes along with the job is my point. But if I had a hundred million dollars, okay, I mean, so even if I wanted to give away ten million, you know, to my coach and my team and my staff, and I still got ninety million dollars. So I don't understand the problem there. Abel Sanchez, you know, Gennady Golovkin was trying to pay him a flat fee. Abel talked about this. He said, you know, look, he got $100 million. He wanted me, wanted to pay me, and I, I believe it was like 10%, I believe, of the purse. Can't, I don't remember the exact number, but it was incredibly low, okay? You know, considering Abel Sanchez, like I said, got him to where, and where's the proof that Abel did what he did? Look at him now. Look at how Golovkin is under a different coach. It is night and day, and a lot of that, yes, it is due to coaching. And, and of course, I know it's due to age, but I think Abel Sanchez could take the aging Golovkin and turn him back into that killer. He could do it. I know he could. You know, because there's a way to get around age. You know, I mean, styles make fights. Every opponent is different. Every fight is different. Every fight night is different. There's a way. If you have a good coach, he can bring the best out. And, and look, Abel knows Golovkin. Jonathan Banks, they don't have a relationship. They don't know each other. You know, so I, I don't know. Again, I, I could talk about this for, I could write a book about it. But that, look, this whole Jonathan Banks thing, I, I, I'm, I'm not sold. You know, hopefully we see major improvements in the next fight. Here, here's the thing. Has there been any improvements? I mean, since he, he started working with Jonathan Banks, you tell me. And be honest, has there been any improvements? No, there has not. He's declined. He's gone downhill, okay, if you're being honest. Okay, uh, Elton. Uh, Elton. Shout out, Elton. I've always said that a prime Gennady Golovkin destroys a, a prime Canelo. Yes, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Yes, you're absolutely right. You take the Golovkin that fought any Rosado, you know, Macklin, Lemieux even, uh, even Brooke, you know? Yes, I think he would have annihilated Canelo. You're right, okay? R3Y. Shout out. Gennady Golovkin fought nobody in his prime. That is so completely, utterly ridiculous. Yes, he did. I've made videos breaking it down about how they were all top tens. Uh, most of them in their prime. I mean, go just go look. You know, go look. And you want to talk about prime. Who has Canelo fought in his prime? Cotto? No. No, no, no. I mean, come on. I mean, just think of Mayweather. Not even really, but he got schooled. I mean, who has Canelo fought? Chavez? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you look, you can't say that. Kirkland? I mean, who has Canelo fought in his prime? Shane Mosley? No. I mean, don't worry, I'll wait, you know, no. Okay, Lord, shout out. Um, that's really not true. To be fair, between 2012 and now, the division hasn't been the most stacked division in boxing history, but you can only fight, you're right. You know, you know and, and I thought about this too. It isn't the most stacked division in history. What I was trying to say was, it's comparable, you know, and again, I don't want to go on a 30 minute rant, but it, but it is comparable and there are other options out there. And as a promoter, as a matchmaker, it is your job, your duty to have plan A, B and C or D. OK, if I'm a matchmaker, if I'm a, pr a promoter, I'm not just going to wait on Canelo. I'm going to have a, a Charlo or Demetrius Andre in the mix. I'm going to have a plan A, B, C and D. 
And that is my issue with, with Golovkin's team is they, they, they just get tunnel vision on Canelo. And then when things fall apart, we get a Dominic Wade or we get or not, or a Zermeta, right? A, a Steve Rolls. I mean, you know, or a Vanez, Marty Rose. And when things fall apart or he, he's side benched because Oscar De La Hoya said, you know, you can't fight. Although Canelo can fight Chavez, Gennady Golovkin, you need to sit on the sidelines if you want to crack at Canelo. I mean, what kind of team backing Golovkin would put up with that crap? You know, so anyway, good comment. Thank you. All right, let me see. I'm going to try to get some short ones here. Woo! Okay, in, in, uh, shout out. Okay, yesterday you said you're jumping off the Gennady Golovkin train, that he isn't giving the fans what they need, basically wrote him off. Yeah, I said currently. And then to show my loyalty for Golovkin, I made that video right there. Because I wanted to highlight why I have an immense amount of respect for Gennady Golovkin. Okay, but it ended. I'm going to tell you, it ended uh, recently, actually. I mean, with the mandatory. You know, with, um, you know, even not going after Billy Joe Saunders for the WBO to become the, the undisputed middleweight champion. There's a lot of things that, that, that it was kind of a, uh, I don't know, I guess a, a trickle effect. But I'm just saying, I, I can't support the Zermeta fight. Look, and you guys know how I feel about that. The only reason the IBF is giving Golovkin that fight, they're giving him a soft opponent because they want the money in the Can- Canelo Golovkin trilogy. It's it's business. That's it. You know, now think about this. Canelo is fighting Billy Joe Saunders and then Gennady Golovkin. I mean, could you imagine? What if Gennady Golovkin was fighting? I want to make a whole video of breaking it down. What if Gennady Golovkin was fighting Billy Joe Saunders and then going into a trilogy? Man, there, we would be all over it. There would be praise, praise, nothing but praise, okay? But again, I, there is a double standard with you guys out there. And I get it. You know, rightfully so, because Canelo's done a lot of crappy things, and I get it. So, not really faulting you for it, but also we need to be honest, okay? If Golovkin was doing what Canelo is currently doing, he'd, he'd be on top of the world in our mind, okay? All right, <laughs> Wizard, I know this, D-R-A-Z-I. I, I asked him on the live chat the other day, I was like, uh, dude, is that draw, draw, draw? He's like, no, 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 it's backwards, Wizard. So, I thought that was the coolest shit ever. Like, let me... Let me zoom in on that. So if you if you look backwards, W I Z A R D Wizard. So all right, shout out Wizard. I was calling him D. I was like I, I was like this guy has a weird ass name. It was like draw 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 draw, draw I W. I don't even know. Okay, her her Hercules. Okay, man, he is just great to watch. I love watching his fights. Yes, you're talking about Gennady Golovkin. Correct. Got robbed twice. Correct. Counterpunch, please, man, change the background music. Already depressed from the incoming... Yes, uh, look, you guys, the thing is, you have to be very, very careful what you put on YouTube music-wise. So, um, I try to put on there what is non-copyright. So, but but I'm working on... I'm, like, again, I'm working on getting better music, better editing, all that. So, anyway, shout out Southside. There... Finally, I was waiting for your comment to end my video because I wanted to give you a shout-out. And Brandon White, I told you guys, look right here. I promise I'll give you guys a shout-out in my next video. Thanks for the support. And look right here, we're going to do it. We're going to do it big. Okay, Southside, Brandon White, thank you. Okay, you guys, especially Southside, you're always there. And uh, just much, much, much respect and love. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. You guys have a good night.